There's a music. It's what it is. It's what it is. You ready? You ready? I don't think y'all uh, boys ready. Hollywood Smoke Open, a.k.a. Barack Obama. I'm in the building, CDR, PNC Radio. Tune in, get it locked in. Smoke up, light up. Y'all it is, man. CDR, you're tuned back in. Now, we just played a joint called I Like Dreaming Off Substance Abuse, yes, which sir. is out. It came out this week, right? Yeah, it came out last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, no doubt, man. Well, it's good to have you back up here. Now, we've been up here in a second, so it's good to get reacquainted with some music, man, definitely. Now, I'm just going to go in right off the top, man. Tell me a little bit about substance abuse, the mixtape, you know, what it took to put the actual project together. Well, actually, I've been working on a project for about two years, maybe. Okay. Because um, in the midst of doing that, my wife was pregnant with twins and all that. And I also got real. Kind of set me back. <laughs> yeah, shit got real. But, but um, substance abuse, people call it the mixtape, but it's more so like an album because it's all the original music. It's not yeah. three songs. So, I mean, you know, that album was just put on as inspiration. Exactly. Like, that's and, how I put that together. And substance abuse is is, uh, is a poignant title. Tell me a little bit about why you named it substance abuse, man. Well, I don't know if y'all if people know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think they get an idea. Go check out this video for the intro. You'll definitely get an idea. Of, right. Uh, just finish playing some of my cologne with that. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I do. Like, it's basically behind that, I mean, uh, the drugs of course the okay. weed the weed right now Keep like 100 percent <laughs> uh, yeah that's basically the influences and you know everything that's going on around me so tell me uh, about the process for the actual mixtape because we know we've heard you here and there on records before featuring yeah, yeah uh, also with, a lot of yeah and doing a lot of leaks also uh smoking numbers for a long time with him. so right. tell me a little bit about what it took to kind of like come out on your own and have this be your your, your first Real uh, crazy joint on uh, Dolo, really. Well, I mean, me and Numbers, you already know, is we always think that's my brother. Yeah. But you know, um, oh shit, it's kind of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Don't keep it not, it's not, it's not, it's not, I mean, that's my brother, so yeah. I can't throw him on the bus. Of course you know? not. Uh, he's on the mixtape too, right? Of course. Yeah. You know, I always got to keep it family. But um, that whole transition, you know, was just, I was going through a lot of shit in my life. Okay. You know, I was like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I need some space to okay. myself. So, you know, I did the substance abuse thing and um the whole process of doing that shit, like I was just really going off the inspiration, like I said, and like just collaborating with my peers. Your like, peers it wasn't yeah. really like I was gonna reach out to artists because and it seemed like actual the, relationships with Yeah, you keep the actual like uh the collaborations on the project just close in it like family. Right, all right. family shit. Yeah. Nothing forced. Okay, no doubt. And you got some known and some unknown kinda on the mixtape right. too, so like I spread it out there right, right. and did your thing with that. Yeah, familiar. Man. Of course. It's and you kept the content crazy with uh because you kept it you kept it really static, of course, with yeah, the substance abuse. Me, of course. <laughs> It was all drug and booze joints. Of course, you know how it goes down. We got more smoke dizzle. We're about to get to another joint off of substance abuse. Keep it locked right here. Crack the strip of this radio. The strip of this radio went back in the building. I was uh, back to Cleveland, Chip the River. Before that, we played uh, Marley and Me to talk of smoke dizzle and substance abuse. It's also the next visual yes, sir. off of the project. Um, I don't know if you want to talk about the actual, like the concept. Talk about it. Okay, so what's, what's, what, what can we expect with this uh, visual off of substance abuse? A lot of laughter. <laughs> you know, I'm actually shooting a mini movie. Okay. But um, shit is crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I got a uh, definite dude, of course. And you got currency and also. And I got oh. Asher off. And I, that sounds like a smokers. Smokers and <laughs> smokers. <laughs> right smoke there. Over me this That's insane. Yeah, Are you gonna be shooting it out in the streets, or is it gonna be a? Uh... Well, <laughs> we got a um. Shout out to my man Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I got a. Uh, we got the little ambulance on deck. Okay. <laughs> the medical van. Alright. We don't have cheap and chong shit. So. Okay. So it's definitely gonna be intense. Yeah, it's gonna be very amusing. No it's doubt. Man. Yeah. So definitely, I'm feeling substance abuse, like I said, because maybe I can identify with the weed uh, content inside the music. Was that something that you definitely need to get across? Because I, I, I've already talked to a few people about you know, our generation kind of having a genre or, or something like that to talk about. You have like the currencies, the Devin and Dudes, right. the Whiskey Leafers, the right. people who talk about weed culture. You know what right. I'm saying? It's, I mean, it's really a lifestyle. Like, yeah, it's, not, it's nothing far-fetched. Like, <laughs> shit, I wake up, I smoke, I go to sleep, I smoke. Shit, middle of the day I'm rolling up. <laughs> <laughs> Wifey calling me home. 
bitching at me because I'm rolling up. What you doing? Smoking. Smoking. Yeah. Well, so you make music about it too, so you can say I'm being productive. Basically, you know, I mean, you know it's a lot of stress in real life. So yeah. So you know how that. Need a blunt. And I mean, if the people aren't like up on your movie because you've been around for a second, you've been grinding. I think you, you really, uh, as far as the MC goes, you know, you're not what we would call yeah, that. Nothing new to this. Yeah, like it's nothing new to this. You kind of know what, what what to expect from the industry and, and working hard and things like that. What can we expect in the future from Smoke Dizzle? Mixtapes, a lot of shit, man. Um, movies. Okay. Um, and Marley Lee is gonna be uh, that first notch right there. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. We got a lot of shit in the pipeline right now. We got something we worked on for a long time called Bodega. Okay. Me and my boy Johnny, we wrote this song. Swear it. And uh, I got the single coming out. Oh, that's it's very, very soon. So when we push the radio, I'm happy with that. Hell yeah. And that's the same. Kilo on my neck. Oh, Kilo on my neck. I gave him a little snippet on the um, substance abuse. Okay. Thing. And that feature is Nipsey? Yeah, it's me and Nipsey. No doubt. What up, Nip? What up, Nip? <laughs> you know what it is. And you're both under a cinematic or you both yeah, rise a cinematic music group. How did you actually link up with cinematic? I need to know back that situation because you guys are crazy. I'm a day one. I'm a day one, man. Oh, wow. I, 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 I've, been, I've been with Johnny since I was about 17. Like, uh, fresh off the battle scene. Wow. I mean, a lot of these niggas know. <laughs> they fucking know. Like, but, um, yeah, but Johnny, Johnny, Johnny has kids. You guys can't see me. There's a camera in his hand right now. Right, he's, he's all in my grill right yeah, now. He's all recording. Us. He's recording us as we record smoke. So right. you know how that goes down. Right, right. But, um, yeah, man, I've been riding with Johnny since I was 17, maybe a little before that. Okay. He basically, you know, he groomed the beast. No doubt. And now you're now you're on your well now you're on you're still with cinematic, right. but you're, you're you're really blazing your own path as far as hip hop goes and things like that. From the bottom, fresh out the rock, flying out to Cali, doing biz with Mr. Rodham. Wrote him, caking, niggas on my scrotum. Cause I got that fire and they know my bar's potent. Number one draft pick, Greg Oden, Mr. Smoke Hogan, Hollywood.